right, welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Keith, we started today talking about the two 40 plus year old pitchers. Ari Dickey had the better hand tonight. Well, he started out hot. He struggled in the beginning. He had five walks on the day, but he settled in. They got him that big four, five runs in the fourth inning. Uh, should have been an error. Should have been around uh, the seven runs given up by Cologne. Uh, really, only one should have been an earned run. The Mets played very shoddy in the field tonight. Uh, they deserved their fate. They did not play a good game. So uh, this is one you're going to have to turn the page. It's a shame they couldn't have gotten a victory here. But now they get back in division and on to Atlanta. If Flo catches a line drive, he's out of the inning, and it's a one-nothing game. So. Uh, Goes off, you know, and I know it knuckled on him. I mean, I know what happened. I certainly, you've seen it a lot. But, uh, you know, there's, we got, we got to make a, again, a concerted effort to, you know, pick each other up a little bit better than we have. It seems like we do it at home, but on the road for some reason. And again, this is a different field than we've ever played on. So, um, we, that's, that's not an excuse, but it's a fact. I don't know. It's, it's an age old question that a lot of teams, Go through, and I was saying earlier today that if, if if everybody, if anybody had the magic formula, nobody would have a sub 500 record at, on the home or the road. So uh, I don't know. We came in here, and they had two well pitched games. We didn't swing the bats very good. We got to go get some sleep on the plane so we can get up tomorrow because we get in at three o'clock again this morning. So we got a game to play tomorrow night. We'll get ready for that. Well, the only bright spot for the Mets really was Lucas Duda, who had his 10th home run. The Mets hadn't scored in 21 innings until Duda's home run. Well, they've only got three hits tonight. So, you know, uh, it was all R.A. Dickey who came into the game only with two wins on the season. Well, he got his third victory, and uh, he would have probably gone maybe the distance, but uh, when he gave up, when he lost the shutout, uh, the t t Toronto manager uh, took him out of the game, went to the bullpen. Guys were coming back saying it was pretty impressive. So, when he's on, when he's moving, and um, as we know, when they, we were, we were hoping tonight they keep that roof open. I can tell you that. So, uh, but when he's on, he's tough to hit, and you have no way to prepare for it. It's a challenge. Um, you know, we haven't faced anybody like that, and we won't face anybody like that the rest of the season, um, regular season. So, you know, you, you take it, you, you tip your hat, and you move on to a, a, a team that we've played quite a bit and are familiar with. You know you're gonna, you might get a fastball, but you know what? You really got to stand by the, the knuckleball because, you know, one thing he has shown in the past is he can throw strikes with it. And you're looking at, you know, he finishes a game with you know 60% strikes, and you know, majority of them were knuckleball. So, but uh, uh, you know, we're 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 playing a little sluggishly right now, and uh, we need to we need to find some energy. Well, tomorrow the Mets take on the Atlanta Braves in Atlanta. Jacob DeGrom will be pitching for the Mets. So that's it for the WB Mason Post Game Extra. Catch us after every Mets game on SNY for exclusive post game coverage on SNY.TV.